Okay. So we're going to review some of the exponent rules and uh, laws that we know so that when they come up in the investigation of the exponent function or the exponential function, then we'll have those tools at our disposal. So the first question here asks us to express each as a power of 2, so to remind us how we can uh, use some of the exponents. So if I'm talking about 16, can you express it as 2 to the power of something? 2 to the power of 4? Because it's 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16. So 2 to the power of 4. Okay, no problem there. How about a quarter? Negative 2? Okay, for starters, let's remember that 4, of course, is 2 squared. And then if we put a negative in the exponent, we make the reciprocal. So it is 2 to the negative 2. So there's one of those reminders and the reason why we're doing it. To remind ourselves, when you have a negative exponent, you take the reciprocal of the base. 2 itself, the reciprocal is 1 over 2. And then since it's squared, it's 1 over 2 squared, which is 4. Okay, what about 8? 2 to the power of 3. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. And D, D is probably one that we might have forgotten about. Does anyone remember how to do D? Sorry? Mm, not sure. How about this? Let's see if we can remember this one first. So, what about the square root of 5? Do you remember how to do that? Do you remember how to do square roots? Change them as exponents? It's 5 to the power of 1 half. Let's do it with something like 25, just so you can double check. What's well, the square root of 25 is 5, right? So go to your calculator and type in 25 to the exponent 0.5. And it should be the same thing. So one of the ones that we learned last year was the square root can be changed to a fraction as the exponent. So when the exponent is a fraction, you're talking about roots. Okay, with the exponents a negative, we get, we get uh, reciprocals. But when, you're, when you've got a root sign, we're talking about exponents as fractions. Okay, so this works because it's the square root of 25. We just don't usually write the 25 with a little 2 there. So if that's a reminder of square roots, what do you think we do on cube roots? That's right, 2 to the 1 third. The fourth root, of course, would be 2 to the 1 fourth, and so on. Okay? All right, in E, we've got 2 times 2 to the power of 4. There's two ways we can express this. Well, actually, we're just asked to do it as a power of 2. So what's the rule we remember when we're multiplying powers with the same base? What do we do to the exponents? Add them. Does this have an exponent? What is it? 1. Okay? And so in this case, it'll be 2 to the power of 5. You can double check that or just think common sense. 2 to the power of 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times. And now you're multiplying it by a fifth one. So it's 2 to the power of 5. Now, in F, we've got a 16 and a root 2. Let's treat them like their own separate questions. So for starters, let's look at 16. Can you express 16 as a power of 2? Yeah, it's 2 to the power of 4. We just did that. All right, so that's the 16 part. What about the square root of 2? 2 to the 1 half. Okay, we just reminded ourselves of that rule. Root signs can change to fractional exponents. Now, we have, just like in E, we have multiplication with the same base. So what do you do with those exponents? Yeah. So it would be 2... And 
four and a half. Well, we should probably change that to two and nine halves. Okay, so four and a half, four is eight over two plus one more half is nine over two. Okay, so that's good that we remember that rule. What about G? The answer is one. <laughs> yes, good. So two to the power of zero. Okay, remember anything to the power of zero is one. And so two to the power of zero would be one as well. All right, so now H, let's take what we know about B here. And what we learned about and reminded ourselves about in D. So this one, we've got a, f a fraction. The root sign is on the bottom. Let's change the root into uh, an exponent and the fact that I have it on the bottom into an exponent. So any thoughts? That's right. This then is 2 to the negative 1 half. We could sort of think of it in two steps and say the bottom is root 2 so I'm just going to change that to 2 to the neg 2 to the half and then since it's on the bottom you can express that as a negative exponent and bring it up top and get that it's 2 to the negative 1 half